Hey everybody, welcome back to another recording of I Love You Curl Sanders. I'm your host, Pyro, and here we have Tequila. Hi, I am Tequila, one of Pyro's scattered thoughts. And we have Diva. Hi, I'm Diva. I'm the other scattered thought. There's only <laughs> two of us. Today we are doing this recording with KFC in front of us. Nom, 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 And Tequila had a full breakfast right before picking up this KFC. <gasps> oh, oh no! no. <laughs> <laughs> What's your guys' favorite like side in KFC? The Mac. I go I go for the fries. My, mine's definitely the coleslaw. So last time we were here, we were in Colonel Sanders' house. Oh yeah, did we like fall asleep at his place? And like oh, we like sifted through all of his things. Okay. We sniffed his laser. So did, I forgot what decision we made on how to respond to him. I'm so distracted. I'm gonna start eating the chicken because this chicken e is yeah. just staring at me. I've been eating this chicken this entire time. Oh, I've been waiting. May or may not have gotten a family size box. I may or may not have just dipped my tendy in some gravy. Nah. Today is a day that could change the rest of your life. You think about the new secret ingredient you just learned about. Oregano. <laughs> it was always oregano. It's in some jurisdictions, oregano isn't even legal. All but right. if the recipe is a secret, how will they know? Okay. I know exactly what oregano they're talking about. Instead of just being actual oregano, we're making a reference. Your thoughts are interrupted when Colonel Sanders emerges from the room. In nothing but a robe! Fingers crossed in nothing but a robe. Damn ah. it! <laughs> He is holding breakfast, which, how did he get past us? I mean, were, were we on the couch or? It's a simple breakfast. Yeah. Colonel Sanders whipped up. Look at that. That's what I have. Oh, it That's looks just have. like what I have. Yes. I've got biscuits <laughs> and I've got the, the bone chicken. I also have boneless. Today's Colonel Sanders food and it takes you on a journey. When you return, he's waiting to ask you an important question. So we just went on a journey and he's just like waiting for us to be done with that. How <laughs> would you say that we're the perfect match? <laughs> uh... How presumptuous. How presumptuous. My cuisine and your taste buds, that is. Take him down at the egg hit, but I mean... Okay, flattery. no, 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 we agreed. <laughs> yeah, we agreed last time negging is, like, not the way to go. Ne uh, yeah, no negging. He's daddy, he's daddy colonel for a reason. Like, he deserves our respect. <laughs> a single tear begins to pool in the corner of his eye as he gazes out the window. Oh, he's vulnerable he's like, and emotional. I love it. I you love just compliment it. him and he's like, I'm going to cry. I'm here for it. Who hurt you, baby? The war hurt him. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Business partner. You're on the. We're also on the verge of tears. Unable to speak, the only answer you can find is to run out the door and go home? Why? What? Do we have. What? No. You get your ass back in there. I, I love how our the character's default is like. I don't know what to do. I need to run. Like, they're like, fight or flight. They're like, immediately flight. Right, we're so emotionally stunted that we can't confront our feelings. There's only one more day of school <laughs> after all. Oh. Oh, no. Where have you been? I, oh. Oh, did she also do the walk of shame? It was the robot, right? That's better than Pops, all right? We're, that's, that's all we're aiming for, is somebody that's not Pops. Yeah, as long as it's not the child. Oh god. Saga of Miriam. Okay, she did go on a date. Okay. Okay, with who? Blank. Yep, there we go. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not that kind of girl. If you could add a function to any robot, what <laughs> function would you have? Okay. <laughs> Uh, I say the function of friendship sounds great. What I, about you guys? I can get to know the little metallic guy. Could be skydiving with his friends. What? What? But his, it said things got out of control, right? The, that's not what you want to hear about skydiving. Yeah, as if that's a typical first date to go on with a talking pressure cooker. Yes. yes. But no, my my shock is he has friends. You don't give her time to tell her this whole story because you have to tell her. Aww. You're like, hey, Miriam, I don't care. Aww. Listen to this. You what? <laughs> yeah. You heard me. Wowzers. <laughs> I like that. See the emotional connection. Yes. It truly really was wowzers. Phenomenal. Miriam offers support you no matter what you do. See, this is like a best friend right here where there's one option. Yes, that is the only option. We can do anything. Let's go. Aw, yeah! Let's go, besties! Boo! Discount Team Rocket! Oh, I'm Pop. <laughs> he himself might not quite grasp that fact that they're so picking they, on they him. They don't know. They, he doesn't know that they're picking on them. You know, 
Because <laughs> you know he can pop. What's a swirly? It sounds delicious. Oh, pop. oh, honey. She is so ready for it, though. Oh my god, yeah, that look in her eyes. She derives great joy from it. Get a life. I'll order you one up right away. I'll have my swirly with sprinkles, please. Also, I'm pretty sure this is where uh, when Van Van is gonna get beat up by Pops. I hope. See, we're just nice. Or it's like, pick out somebody your own size. Because I'm literally the biggest person in school. Then yeah, then go find someone else, Van Van. That's that's the whole point. You're bigger than everyone else. Go find someone yeah. else to pick on. There is that horse that Colonel Sanders rides to school. If you're compa it, comparing Van Van to uh, to Colonel Sanders' horse. Got some nerve, Pyro Takiva, suggesting I pick on a defenseless horse. I'm not saying that. We're not saying that. We're just saying get the heck out of here. It's actually, is this about to turn into a fighting game? Oh no. Oh right, I forgot about the mixer accident yesterday. It doesn't look like you go on cooking like that. Might as well give up. I know this is the last day, you know, my, my injury from the other day, you know, really, really hurting. I'll never give up. Ever. Never! I'll never give up. Colonel Sanders arrives just as it appears. Things are close to boiling over. A naturally intuitive person, he senses that something has been going on. Oh, you think? Why does this man want to fight my horse? Is everyone Wait. excited for the final day of school? Paro Takiva, how's that hand feeling? I'm sure you'll be back in fighting form by this afternoon. Yeah, my afternoon regeneration. Aren't you concerned about my hands, Colonel? No, Ashley. No, we're not. I'm sorry. No one gives a flying kite about your stupid broken nail. Yeah, I got this. Hey. Technically, uh -huh. <laughs> I don't believe in a winner was decided, but your presentation was quite impressive. That's Southern Kentucky right there. You know if that what? was a little, like college professor <laughs> a little college professor i actually don't think i could do a southern accent <laughs> yeah i mean i can't either like uh, you you heard me my next. attempt was very not much a good one <laughs> me next me next you get away with your chocolate sauce it was clear that you're passionate about how your food is received there you go that's a lot of words to say it was bland <laughs> Uh, oh my god. Oh, damn. He was not happy with that. Oh. <laughs> Excuse me, Jesus. Pyro Tequila. I'm more than capable of enough to speak for myself. <laughs> He's mad at us because we ran away. Oh. Oh, no. He's got to no, know. It's the. This is, uh, it's the last day, so there's got to be like that moment where he's like, I'll, I'll talk to you, the other girl, and we're like, oh, no. We have to tell him our no. true feelings. Oh. Uh. See you inside. Oh, that is so cold. So cold. Oh, I am legitimately hurt. I don't like this. Oh no, no, no! Don't tell me we're gonna. No, 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 no. Yes, we're gonna cast a spell. What every story has taught us: magic always comes with the price. There's always a price to be paid. Yes, who said we're the ones paying it? Fair. Grimoire. Ooh. I can think of one surefire way to find out. You open a page covered with arcane warnings. Arcane war Okay, what is arcane warnings? It's Cast like when you're about to... in case of extreme emergency. <laughs> that, that's the arcane warning right there. It says around the edges of the page. I could use a spell here that says it will erase anyone I choose from all of my memories. If I scrub out Colonel Sanders, it would probably help me focus better on the upcoming final exam. No! All right, so we're gonna just, uh, instead of like, you know, getting rid of Ashley, we're just gonna scrub all of our memories. Don't worry, we probably will not become a spork monster. Probably. Something not rooted in dark magic, like tie a string around her, your finger. Tie a string. Uh, that, should cut, that, that just cuts off circulation. Desperate <laughs> times call for desperate measures. No, I don't like it. I don't like this, you guys. That's the forbidden mm. spell. Mm -mm. Do it? do it? I don't swear it. to God. Do All right, let's go. Do it? Don't do it. Don't do it. It's almost time for class. I'll I'll do my dark arts later. Dark arts. And this random guy who we have no idea who he is. Oh, quick announcement. <laughs> dog moment coming on, but I assure you it's nothing to be afraid of. Oh, what does no. this mean? Dog moment. Is he just going to revert back to, like, normal dog? He 
must be hungry. Reach for some old homework. <laughs> Dogs can be rather unpredictable, especially sprinkles. Wait to see. Uh, is there a right answer here? So old homework, I'm hoping, is in papers. Because we're at a culinary school, I'm hoping old homework means leftovers. But then won't we kill him with, like, rancid leftovers? For us being at a culinary school, people are, like, dying by food. Alright, it's like day one. They're like, alright, fugu puffer fish, let's go. <laughs> I didn't give him the food. I think he's gonna go attack okay. a squirrel. You see a tiny orange squirrel <gasps> burst on the cherry tree outside. He turns feral and runs to the window of the classroom and barks uncontrollably at the squirrel outside. Way to call it, Tequila. I told you to never to come back here, Terrence. I will destroy you, Terrence. Oh my god. Troll flying off his face. Oh god. The squirrel looks over, but he doesn't say anything back. You wonder, is that even a talking squirrel? Who named him Terrence? Is he having like a war flashback? You better not show your chubby chicks around here ever again! That has been felt by not only Terrence, but any other squirrel in hearing distance. He returns to his professional tone. I apologize for that outburst. <clears throat> <laughs> you see, Miriam's love drama spills over into class. Oh no, what's oh, about to no. happen? <laughs> oh, uh oh, whoa. Uh oh. Sprinkles is interrupted by whirs and sparks coming from the back of the room. In the class! I could just, Im I could just imagine Clank just like busting through those double doors. Boom! And then, and then there's just blank in the back. Oh, I told you to save it for after class. Oh no. Oh, oh, don't cry, baby. Oh, Miriam, why'd you hurt Clank? I mean, <laughs> fair enough. That's not really a, a great first date. Miriam and Clank appear to be arguing, but you still <laughs> haven't learned to speak Clank's language of mechanical noises. If y'all want to hear Diva's most terrible first date stories, join our DTT Discord! Yeah! And like and subscribe. But no, you had to show up for your cool kid friends, Jeff and Joe and J and J forever. Watch us form a triangle in midair as we descend. Triangles are the strongest shape, you know. <laughs> Look at his little face, he's like, ee, 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 I, it was, it was kind of fun. This buzzed. Let's make it a great date. Beep were. Oh, oh, oh! Then take Jeff and Joan with you. You can all hold hands as you pedal down the mountain or off a cliff for all I care. So the issue here we're seeing is that is that Clank is actually an extreme sports fanatic mm. and doesn't know how to separate his normal life from his extreme sports. He's an adrenaline junkie. Sad beep. It's okay, Clank. I don't Aww. think cooking is going to give you the adrenaline you want. It's okay, Clank. That's a great hobby, though. Uh-oh, steam pours out of the gaps in his panels, and then a loud ding stops him in his tracks. Oh, did he cook something? Is it his heart? Oh, no! He died! <laughs> well, he's dead. You broke him. Miriam, fix it! Uh -huh. No amount of seasoning is going to make me want to eat that, Clank. What? Eat what? The fried oh. sneaker. They asked him for a Snickers, and he confused it. You're not you when you're hungry. In terms of deep fried footwear, I guess it looks okay. You'd be alone with his shoe. Where'd he get the shoe? I'm surprised Sprinkle is like, hey, can I ha can I, can I have the shoe? <laughs> I feel like they're just like, everyone's just watching this, and it's like, yeah, nothing like a loud public breakup to cast a fall over the final day of school. <laughs> the final competition showdown challenge exam. <laughs> I, I think you get it. The title needs some fixing. <laughs> yep. Very beautiful soul. Nearby in need of a pep talk. Oh, she don't look good. Best you could do better than that. He's got a spell you could use, Miriam. So, <laughs> <laughs> so mad I can smash a tiny mug. Like several droplets of hot cocoa all over the floor. Because she likes making tiny food. Maybe she's going to ask for the spell. No, instead of wipe everyone's memory of playing. Oh. That'll fix the issue, right? Because you know this breakup is no joke, even if the source of her frustration is such a silly boy. I know, <laughs> I know that you know this, but I'm going to say it out loud. You don't need anyone, Miriam. Not with the power of friendship. Me and you, we're going to cruise through this final test and hit the carpool lane to success today. Yeah. <laughs> You're not gonna saddle up on Colonel Sanders' stallion? Um, I didn't say that! And ride off into the sunset without me? 
I'm sure there's a pony out there with your name on it. And a ranch big enough for both of us. And whoever else we want to bring along. Oh my god, we're starting a commune. Oh, I'm not opposed to that. This would be the weirdest way to actually get a real commune started. <laughs> <laughs> Aww, she gives us a big hug and wipes the tears from her cheeks. I should really review my menu for today. I'm going to make a very special soup. Good, Good soup. soup. <laughs> <laughs> Professor Dog is going to love it up. While you were pep talking, Miriam, you completely missed lunch. Oh no. Um, but that's okay because you had a better idea of how to spend the time before your exam. Head there early to practice a dish. The location of your final challenge. Test of will. Courage. Test of talent. And a chance to beat the pants off of Van Van the supposed man man and his eviler counterpart Ashley. Okay. Real talk. I'm full. And I still have so much chicken left and I can't anymore. This is how I started the video. You started here. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, we didn't. Ha you don't have to force yourself to eat. I finish. <laughs> I will finish this, god dang it, Pyro. There are children somewhere in the world without food. Tequila has cats that are fighting him for the chicken. True. He's like, I'll be damned if the cats get the chicken. Yeah. <laughs> I still have three and a half biscuits remaining, and I'm like working oh. on the rest of the, like the last of the chicken. So we're gonna go with the KFC famous chicken pot pie. I don't think I've ever had a chicken pot pie in my life. <laughs> Yeah, what? I, I have, but I'm not a huge fan, so. Oh, okay. Our cram session is interrupted by Le Colonel Sanders. Hey. <laughs> hey. Uh, um. <laughs> oh my god, these first sentences are killing me. All right. I'm great oh, at... just taking it all in. <laughs> I'm big into visualizing success, you know? Like, what does success look like to you? Oh, the pot pie has begun to bake. I gotta visualize it, huh? That's too bad. I was hoping you were cooking something delicious. You'd usually happily share your food with anyone who is hungry, but the last time you let Colonel Sanders get in your head, it cost you a cook-off. You decided that it's time to put your cooking above your romantic desires, but that decision gets hard to stick to when... Oh! The oven timer goes off behind you. Ignore it. There's no sound at all or fess up about your practice. Fess up. I mean, yeah, why lie? Like, yeah, you know, hey, we don't want to burn point? it. We don't want to burn it. That too, yeah, you don't want to burn it. You like that, you like that. Okay, okay, okay you got me. Yeah, honesty, honestly, okay, you know, real talk here. Honesty goes a long way, people. Just be upfront. Communication is key. Honesty is key. Good communication is key. I'm doing a little bit more than visualizing. <laughs> I know. My nose can smell a pot pie from 400 yards. Part chicken, part greyhound, all man. All, all man. <laughs> 401, can't smell shit. You expect nothing less from such an oddly specific man. It was just a pot pie just from the smell? I mean, pot pie does have a specific smell. I feel like I'd also be able to tell it was like pot pie adjacent. Okay, but the all butter crust. Use one word to describe the smell of a pot pie. Savory. Well, I don't know what savory smells like. <laughs> <laughs> but there's a different smells. You could tell it was the chicken, and you could tell it was an all butter crust. You could tell both. You could tell all of it. How? Which nuance. This man is actually part greyhound. Yeah. <laughs> and my nose is telling me something else. No, no, I'm calling it right now. He's gonna be like, my nose smells the love. Oh no, is it burning? <laughs> Keeping helping of TLC. See, I said it. He smells the love. Okay, y'all. Moment of truth. Moment of truth. Wow. <sighs> Those colors. He just, the cane came out again. He pulled the cane out. The final showdown is about to begin. All right. Apparently, there is no rules, so we can kill each other. Yep. Street rules. There's no rules. All right, Ashley. I got an oil fryer that has your name on it. Hey, have you ever tried an octopus before? <laughs> I've seen that one. All right, we decide to do a mac and cheese. Yes, classic, love it. My favorite KFC side, woo woo. Plus the pot pie you've been practicing. Great, are just dishes that push you over the edge to victory. All right, so this music makes me think that it might be something. So I'm gonna need some, since y'all are probably done eating. Really, really, really shout out whatever those answers are if it's a quick time. Oh, 
Okay, okay, because you're going to be stuffing your face. Got it. I will also be clicking, too, so I'd rather hear what you guys have to say first, and then I'll probably disagree with it. Okay, so Van Van and Ashley are prepping. Okay, so they're together again. Miriam has her giant magnifying glass and a bunch of tweezers. Oh, she's trying to go Michelin on this. Mm. Yes, attention to detail, queen. Small plate diners right there. Le Carlinel seems to be harnessing his 11 herbs and spices, but he's trying to find a way to improve on something perfect. His original recipe, what is the R? R in a circle means it's a registered tra trademark. Registered trademark, got it, thank you, okay. All right. Original recipe, registered trademark, fried chicken, okay. If I was in this, this class too, I also would be tr trying to harness my 11 herbs. The frenzy of action. The 10 out of 10. Really just cool special cooking moves as they prepare their food. Okay, what? Colonel Sanders batters his chicken as it levitates through the air? That's inappropriate to do in school. Uh... Yeah, egg wash. Egg wash? It's egg wash, what are you saying, egg wash? Miriam furiously injects ingredients into an itty bitty pot of broth. Uh -oh. Best friend, faster bluster! Oh, baster. Buster, I can't read. <laughs> Van Van flexes his pectorals as he chops open a sea urchin. Let's rock and roll. Van Van, are you, are you cheating? Are you doing steroids in our cooking competition? Are you cooking are on you, roids? Are you putting roids in the thing? That tracks. That makes sense. <laughs> Ashley scooped her pastries off the tray with lightning speed. Shallow, Shallow personality spatula. <laughs> Even... Clank gets in on it. Oh god, Clank. What are you gonna be blorp be blorp? Okay, okay, hold on. So Clank's just been like, we're Clank buzz buzz buzz. And then for this one he's just like, five dial pressure point chicken cooking technique. Go. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, when did Clank learn to speak English? I told you, he's just like Exactly good call. He was Great just call. like he was just like I knew all along, but I didn't care to. <laughs> I let y'all think I couldn't. So I can hear all the shit talking. It's the singularity as <laughs> was foretold. You mustn't let it happen or the appliance <laughs> uprising will take us all. And he's just like, e -e 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 -e, you know it. self despair <gasps> No, Clank, no! Van Van quickly unplugs Clank and rolls him out the back door of the arena. Has Clank been plugged in this entire time? How does he skydive? As you frantically prepare your dish, you notice Ashley has her spell. She has a spell book too? Yep. And she's going to use some dark magic to turn the tide? You better not. Girl, I don't like that look on your face. That's not a good look. You've got a book of your own, and you're desperate not to see her win another battle. Should you take this opportunity to fight magic with magic, even if it's almost certainly evil magic? Ah, I, I'm a believer in the power of love, y'all. The hard way? Like I said, be honest, open communication. I mean, like, if we want to go that way, I have no... Go for it. If you want to cast no, a spell, let's cast a spell. I think Colonel Sanders would like to do it the hard way. Who needs magic when you've got passion? I'm going to do it the hard way. And she's like, oh, fuck yeah. Ooh, he gives us a subtle wink. Ooh, my heart. Maybe we die again. Now look at him. I believe in you, Paro Takiva. Miriam notices too. I don't care about her. <laughs> I mean, bestie. Bestie. I've always believed in you, Pyro Tequila, since we were little kids, because I'm your best friend forever. Not stupid Colonel Sanders who showed up three days ago. She's at my station. I'm like, wait, are you, where's your food? She's like, oh, I'm done already. She's very much hose before bros. Hello. <laughs> Tiny food, short cook time. I mean, it's true. Sweet butt. Causes a handful of spices directly into your boiling noodles. 